Hi kids, welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Are you ready to listen to Book 3 in the Adventures of the Nose Family in Snow Day by Costas Andreo? To buy a copy of the book, the link is available in the description at the bottom of the video. Now kids, the author has hidden a little yellow bird on each illustration that you must find. Some are easy and some are hard. Shout out loud once you see it. Once again in Nose Town, not so long ago, all the noses were happy and busy. Mr. Nose was helping lots of noses by doing jobs for them, keeping busy and working hard in the library. He was always ready to lend a hand. Meanwhile, Minnie Nose was still happy and busy, painting and sketching. Her artistic talents caught the attention of the local Nose paper for young artists. She was even featured. Mrs. Nose was always in search of ways to keep busy by shopping and tidying. She was worried about the whereabouts of the golden pen and on a quest to find it. The mayor of Nosetown was so happy to be living in a grand, beautiful castle. He was loving every bit of it, even though he would get lost sometimes. The mayor enjoyed sleeping in a different room each night. He had so many to choose from. One sunny morning, something magical was waiting for him. When he opened his eyes, he saw a shiny golden pen sitting at the edge of his beautiful bed. It looked so interesting and exciting that he couldn't resist. He picked it up to use later. On that day, all the noses of Nosetown were outside enjoying the lovely summer's day, relaxing in the splendid summer sun. Some were having picnics. Some were playing, some were riding their bikes, and some were just relaxing in the sun. The mayor of Nosetown was having breakfast and was daydreaming, imagining his skiing holiday. Without thinking, he used the golden pen and sketched a picture of himself skiing and wrote, My Holiday. Setting the golden pen down, he left it on the table, not knowing what he had just done. He carried on with his day, doing his mayor duties. The following day, the noses of Nosetown woke up to a fantastical sight, a blanket of snow covering all of Nosetown. Every nose in town was confused because it was July. It never snows in the summer. The schools didn't open, shops stayed closed, and almost every nose in Nosetown came outside to enjoy and play in the surprise gift of snow. Mrs. Nose was worried that someone had found her golden pen. It was the only explanation for all this snow. Noses of all shapes and sizes were super excited and joined in the fun throwing snowballs. Then the Biggest snowball fight ever started in Nosetown. Other noses were making snowmen and snow angels. Some were building snow castles, and there were even some charming igloos. Then noses started sledging and having races down Nose Hill. The mayor was enjoying his snow day by gliding and skiing through the snow covered streets all day long. At the end of the day, the mayor ordered a bonfire to be lit in the park and all the noses gathered around and got cosy. Hot chocolate was passed around and some noses started telling stories around the fire. The next morning, all of the young noses were excited about school, but it was snowing far too much now, so they found themselves staying home. The following day, the snowflakes continued. Nosetown became a winter wonderland. All the grown-up noses wanted to go to work, but couldn't 
as the snow was far too deep and becoming impossible to get through. The mayor called for a town meeting to discuss the snow. All the biggest noses were there, plus a few odd noses too. No nose had a clue or any idea what was happening to Nose Town, apart from one. The snow was reaching an unbelievable level that no nose had ever seen before. Every nose was stuck at home. Some noses were getting worried and others were afraid that the snow would never stop. Meanwhile, while she was cleaning her house, Mrs. Nose had an idea of where the snow might have come from. She wrapped herself in a winter coat, wound a scarf around her neck and left her house. The snow was even deeper and the cold made her shiver as she hurried off to see the mayor. The mayor was amazed when Mrs. Nose shared the secret of the magical golden pen with him. He handed her the pen and, after thinking for a moment, she quickly jotted some words down. Then she took the golden pen and hurried home. The next morning, all the noses woke up to a breathtaking sight. The snow had vanished. It was a beautiful sunny day with not a flake of snow to be seen anywhere. The schools reopened and all the grown-up noses in town started to go back to work. Every nose in town was happy again. The words Mrs. Nose had written with a golden pen had made the snow go away. What do you think? she wrote. Mrs. Nose took the golden pen back to the mayor. They sat down to talk about what should be done with the pen. There were lots of whispers. All the noses learnt about the golden pen and all the amazing and magical things it could do. Some noses believed them and others didn't. The mayor asked for a glass box to be made and placed on a post in the middle of town. The box had a sign saying, in case of emergency, break glass. Every time a nose walked past the post with the golden pen, they would stop and wonder, all except Mrs. Nose, who knew just what the pen could do. Once more, everything in Nose Town went back to normal. All the noses of Nose Town were busy and happy again. But still, they sometimes thought about the snow in July. Until one day... Smash! So kids, did you find the little yellow bird? It's getting to be a little bit harder now, so if you can't find it, buy the book to have a good look. And remember, don't forget to get the other two books, The Nose Family and Scruffy's Lucky Day.